Hello, I'm Jeffrey Mendish. Welcome to Formosa News. On International Workers' Day, thousands brave the rain in Taipei to protest against labor conditions. They want guarantees that bankrupt companies fulfill retirement and severance obligations, and they are urging the government to scrap proposed pension reform. More than 20,000 gathered to show their anger to the government. Prices of everything have gone up. Salaries for us nannies are falling, and what's left is deducted. We only have a small subsidy. Parents tell us that their salaries are low. Labor pension reform will mean higher premiums and lower retirement packages. Workers say they won't be able to survive. They held a protest, walking to the entrance of the executive yuan and demanding that Premier Jiang Yihua come out to listen to their demands. When Jiang didn't show, the workers planned to storm the barricades. As police stopped them, pushing and shoving broke out. The workers want money for severance and retirement included in arrear wage payment funds. So they get owed money, even if companies go bankrupt. They asked for abolishment of the designated responsibility system, which Taiwanese employers exploit to require that workers do overtime for no pay. And they urged lawmakers to sign a petition opposing the government's proposed pension reform. Members of the DPP, PFP, and TSU signed, but the ruling KMT did not. Toward evening, President Ma Ying-jeou and Premier Zhang Yihua gave a response. They said the government respects and will listen to labor.